Here's a quick video um, of an AR-195 2021, and I wanted to change out the crappy uh, trailer tongue jack that I came with. It froze on me, just free, freely spins, and uh, completely broken. I went to Tractor Co. Supply, I bought this one. It's a double wheel. I think it was like $80 with tax. Here's the model right here. And I disconnected, came with a bracket to put on the bar here, but I want to change it and put it back on the, the factory crank. So I took out the two bolts. These two bolts were underneath here and uh, this easily slipped out. So remember to disconnect it from your boat. Comes with a star. This one comes with a star and a back plate and four bolts. The original one has that star and this back plate and these bigger bolts. The other one has these smaller bolts, but it has four. Um, I know I've read some people, you know, drilled out the, the star here and used this back plate and a lot of work. So what I'm gonna do is take off the original, use the new star, use the new back plate, and I'm gonna drill two more holes. One here, one here, I already marked them. So I just took the plate, lined it up, Want to drill a hole, drill a hole. That will fit these bolts. I'll tell you what drill bit I use in a second. I'm not sure what size it is. On the new jack, it has a bigger um, guide locker, whatever you call it. And on the small and on the original one, you can see it's just a smaller one. Keep in mind, it's a 2021 boat. Only used it about 10 times, and this is the condition this thing's in. Horrible. So, I'm gonna push pause. Um, I'm gonna figure out the measurements. So you can see the difference. And now I'm gonna get the proper drill bits and uh, I'll, I'll mark it in the comments below. Then you have this pin. It's about a half inch. And these are only 0.4, so I gotta get something that's a little bit bigger, get a half inch drill bit, which I think this one will do. So that's a half inch drill bit. So that's great for these. Um, I could also probably get away with it with these bolts, but I wanna keep it as snug as possible. That's my dog, okay. So I want it like 0.38. Let me see what that is. 0.37. I think that's going to be good. I think these are going to, this is going to be good and I can just wiggle it around to bore it out if I need to. Be right back. So I'm drilling a small pilot hole. I'm going to do this with both hands, so I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, both pilot holes are drilled. I'm going to line up this just to make sure everything looks good when it does so now I'm gonna drill the bigger hole with this one which is as I said about 0.4 so we should be good let me just make sure this is the right one I believe it is yep 0.37 and this is 0.38 I mean it should fit be pretty snug for these hopefully it's lined up perfect otherwise I'll just wiggle it and bore it out be right back and with the 0.4 inch drill bit so here it is completely drilled out two new holes so these will go through not a problem and obviously those are big enough I used a diff a new drill bit number one because the steel was my other drill bit was no good and I used 0.39.4 inch diameter 0.4 inch diameter drill bit to make these two holes 
and now I'm going to drill these out to half inch and that will allow me to use the guide pin to lock it in place. As mentioned before, this guide pin, about a half inch. So I end up drilling th drilled this with a 0.5 inch drill bit, diameter, and then I just kind of bored it out like that, you know, just to make it a little bit bigger. So maybe it's like 0 0.51, 0 0.52, but that allows the pin to easily slip in, which is about 0.49 inches. So this 0.5 to 0.51 makes it easy to slip in. This is the 90 degree uh, position, and this is the horizontal position right here, this, this one. So I'm only, only gonna drill these two. Um, that's all I'll need is the 90 and uh, the zero degree parallel to the ground. Okay, here we have the two new holes I drilled, and then that half inch bit, kind of wiggled it around to make it 0 0.51, 0 0.52 inches. Same here, let me just measure just to see, but I'm sure that's what it's, yep, 0.51. And this one, 0.50, I'll bore it out a little bit more. Yeah, 0.51. Um, you just wanna make it so this pin slips in easy, the guide pin. In addition, um, I drilled the, these two holes as well for the new plate and the new bolts. So now I'm gonna line it up, clean it up, and uh, it should be good to go. Here's a dry fit real quick, just to make sure it works. These are the, the nuts it comes with. You can see the grooves. I also put anti-seize, that's what's all over my hands. Anti-seize on the, the bolts, just so they don't get as rusty as the original ones. And you can see that it locks into place. And when I lift it up over here, it locks into place into that one too. So the tongue here, it was pushed all the way up. The tongue weight was way too much, so I moved it back, as you can see, about four inches. And I marked the two lines before I took it off. So when I put it back on, it'll be easy. I put some anti-seize on those bolts. Now I have it propped up just to show you. I'm gonna tighten the bolts down. And you can see once the bolts are tightened, it will have plenty of thread using the factory bolts from this Tractor Supply Co. trailer jack, double wheel, 14 inch. I'll put the info in the description. Tightening in the star pattern, kind of like you do when you change a car tire. And again, you could put locking nuts on here or nylon nuts, I came with the factory ones and it has the grooves on the flat side so they shouldn't slip out. And you can see because of the star pattern and that little nipple thing point, pointing down against her, no matter how tight you make it, it's going to be able to move. So this is great. Great, great, great. So I'm going to continue tightening it a little bit more and I'll put some anti-seize on and then mount it back onto the trailer. So here's the finished product, the bolts inside. Use some anti-seize. And now I'm gonna mount it back on to the trailer. Okay, so I didn't tighten down the bottom bolts yet. But let's give this a, a quick test. I had to slide this over a little bit because it's it will interfere. Not slide this, I just had to twist it. And let's make sure it locks down. Boom, locks perfect. Try to do this with one hand, maybe two, hold on. Yeah, moving the whole thing because I didn't lock it down yet. But there you go. So that's all I need, works perfect. I'm gonna put it back on to my lines I drew before and bolt it down. Finished project. See, it has the four bolts and 
the plate it came with and the star plate and I only drilled two guide pin lock locking positions. There we are with the finished product. I just greased it with marine grease. See the four bolts in there? And it fits perfect. This is a sprinter van with two inch drop, which is super low and it still fits, still goes all the way down.